everyone, we are live. All of a sudden, I got so nervous. <laughs> yeah, is Mitchell, Mitchell nervous? You guys have never gone live, have you? Nope. Nice. I've never gone live on YouTube. I got a smudge on my lens. Let's fix that. There we go. That's it's like better. HD. Thumbnail's messed up now. Okay, so we just went live. Um, I wanted to try this out. I've never done it before. And just show you what we're working on. We've got like a bunch of different videos in the works, so I thought this would be a perfect time. So this is the meteorite section of the uh, maker knife that I'm doing for Jocko, Jocko whatever. And so we've got the surface grinder here, which uh, Dan's become Geico. an expert. It's not Geico, it's Jocko. I thought he was gonna save me 50% of my car insurance. He could probably save you money on car insurance. He's a smart guy. The same, so. Jocko, Geico. Yeah, same thing. No, I'm sorry, don't hate me. Anyway, Jocko. this surface grinder. Yes. Show them how it works. Is, we found it in the street. Did we you? Just drug it in. Did you actually? <laughs> kind of. So the surface grinder, what it does is it uses a table that moves underneath this grinding wheel that you can see down in there. And then you set whatever object. Well, yeah, let's open that up. Yeah, we'll open it up real quick. There you go. So that's our surface grinding wheel. They start out a lot cleaner and a lot bigger. So There's a new one. We've oh, lost... I didn't realize that. That one used to be white? Yeah, it used to be white. Dang. And then we've lost probably a quarter inch all the way around so far on that wheel. And then okay. so we can take down another half inch or so on it. Cool. And then once you go but, black, you never go back. Yeah, once you go black, <laughs> it's, it's real hard to clean it up. List, lick test Patrick. Mitchell already did in the thumbnail. <laughs> um, he's oh, real Patrick. here's a here's an interesting part. This it's got diamond on the end. Is yeah, that? Yeah, so that's a chunk of diamond there, and then you set that. I'm not gonna be able to get that off. Um, set that on there, and then you run the wheel over that to kind of dress the wheel and true it up. Yeah, so that literally just kind of like destroys the outer layer of the grinding wheel, makes it super square and accurate for stuff. And then our work surface here is actually a mag chuck. Yeah, this is really interesting. So this um, is stuck in place. Yeah, and so if it's magnetic, it'll stick to it, and then you just use this key here to turn it on and off, allowing you to You're gonna gingerly... Oh, so carefully. ...remove the piece. Yeah, the there we go. And then you can place it back on there, lock that over, and then it's it's stuck there. It won't move while you're working on it. Yeah. But now that I pulled that off, we got to clean that area. Yeah, we're going to turn it on in a sec. Sorry, guys. Okay. So we're... That's the right side that we're trying to grind. Yep. And then lock the chuck in. And then... Super glue works too. That's what I was telling him. Super glue chuck. <laughs> Super glue Super chuck. chuck. <laughs> You'll see in my video of this, uh, what was your name? Old School Repair Shop. You'll see in my video for this, I did use super glue at one point actually to hold it to a piece of wood because I don't have one of these. Then we turn the wheel on, turn our coolant on, slow Cut. it down a bit, and then you just use this lever right here. Mm -hmm. And it'll start to move the table. And then it, with every pass, the table moves forward. It's like less than an eighth of an inch. So it just slowly works its way across the piece. Speed it up here. Let me move with the table. Am I giving anyone motion sickness? Me, but I'm <laughs> giving Mitchell motion. So yeah, the table just moves back and forth. Yeah, it's interesting how it, this mechanism here flips it on, off, and it tells it to switch directions. Look at all that milk. Yep, 2%. <laughs> you have to use 2% or thicker. So. Cheeseburger Americans can't watch. Oh, is it that late? Oh, it's almost eight. Yeah, you're <laughs> Eastern time. Sorry, fellow Cheeseburger Americans. I didn't realize it was so late. So there we got to the end of the piece. Yeah. So we we skimmed the top surface. You can see how smooth and nice that is. It puts a really smooth. nice finish. 
and then we use this wheel to lower the grinding wheel down and it is measured in thousandths so then we just move it down about that much that's in freedom units not freedom units i won't get into and that go through and bring it back the other way a lot of people saying what time it is you guys are so 850, smart 950 951 someone's there's a time off. discrepancy yeah your time's off repair shop we're here in utah so it's uh eight yeah 750. Eight -ish. fortnite archers what sort of meteorite this is muaniana lusta it's what i use for all my rings it's the stuff with the really cool pattern what grit is the grinding wheel? Do you know that? The grit is 46. 46 grit. Yeah. I feel like you just made that up. <laughs> yeah, I just made that up. There's no way that actually came like 46. that. 46. We're Salt Lake City, Utah. You want to die? I feel like that's a joke. Otherwise, I'd suggest help. Let's clean it off just so you can see the... Uh get all the milk off of it. Yeah, I get all that 2% milk. How much do you guys spend in milk every month? We recycle it. That's why it smells so bad in here. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> this milk that's in here right now is about six months old. So. Nice. It's curdled. It's cheese. <laughs> nice um, since when do you guys stream? This is my first live stream since on YouTube. Now. And this is, they've never done a live stream either. So. You should tell them to get on top of that. But I've live streamed on Instagram before. If you get up close to that, you can see the kind of finish that it puts on the. Uh, oh yeah, on the meteorite. It's a nice and finish. So, Silky smooth. You can see I can put fingerprints on it, so uh, I don't know what that means, but it means it's good. It means it's it means it's flat. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. Do you want to go uh, further than that? Yeah, should we take it? How slim is it? Let's take it uh, maybe two more. Two more passes. You think? Okay. Almond or cow's milk? What is it, yes. Mitchell? It's always cow. So. Cow milk? Okay. Three and a half percent. Three and a half percent. I saw a joke yesterday. It's like, imagine what would happen if we unlock the other 98% of milk. <laughs> 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 what do you guys think is a hiding? In the other 98% of milk. Maybe that's how we unlock the rest of our brain. Yeah. That's We're just drinking it. only 2% milk. Is milk just like 100% milk? Cheese is 100% milk. <laughs> 4% is whole milk. Nice. Cheese is 100%. Message is 100%. retracted. Tim Roseberry, did you say something offensive? Um, where do we get the meteorite? I got this meteorite from Jocko. He sourced it. I think he got it off eBay. And he sent it to me all the way from Italy. What do you do to all the rings you have? I should show you guys someday. I've got a bag full of all my YouTube rings. It's crazy. What year was the surface grinder made? Oh, that's interesting. This one was made in... You got the original instruction manual. Oh, wow. See, there's a date on it. That is an artifact. It's in the 70s sometime. Yeah, that, that shows you how old it is. Like, that's, that's the instruction manual. <laughs> nice. Thank you, Anthony Davidson. He said, but. Somebody's handwritten notes, those aren't ours. Oh, handwritten notes? That is some weird handwriting. Machinists. <laughs> Machinists. So we're off there, okay. It looks like it was built to last. Yeah, it does. It, I know it's about 30 years old-ish, so. 30 maybe years? It's, it's as, like almost 2020. It's not 70s then, it'd just be. Okay. It looks old. It'd be 80s then. Yeah. Either way, it's a solid, sturdy piece of machinery. Ooh, Mitchell, ooh, hey. You want one but you're poor? They found a really good deal for this on Craigslist, I think. Yeah, so we bought this used for real cheap, and then I had to replace a bunch of the seals in it because it was just leaking hydraulic fluid. Nice. Oh, I noticed that. It is, yeah. You got a nice collection of hydraulic fluid going on over here. It still has a, a little bit of a leak, but... There's your t-shirt you were looking for, Dan. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's your t-shirt. Sorry, I put it over there. Oh, that's okay. That'll just 
just gotta wash it. Uh, Patrick from SpongeBob reference. I embrace those. I'm, I'm not like, I don't get mad. Have you seen the Refurbisher YouTube channel? Um, I don't think so. I've seen channels that are like uh, hardware restoration, tool restoration. I don't know. I've seen like similar stuff, I think, to what you're talking about. But I'm not certain. An arbiter ring crossed with obsidian ring. That would be cool. Can you pronounce my last name? Salmanowix. Gabriel Salmanowix. You just say it fast and then Salmanowix. Right. Salmanowix. It's all about the confidence. Gabriel Salmanowix. Confidence is key. Nice thumb. Thank you. Yeet, Anthony. Have you seen Thor? I think I've seen all three. Are there only three Thor movies out right now? I don't know. I was trying to watch the Ragnarok one and I can only get about six minutes in. Really? I like that one. <laughs> Mitchell's not a movie watcher though. So. Stoic Forge Rings? No, I don't want to collab with them. That was started by one of my employees who ripped off my uh, <laughs> designs. They copy like all of my rings to this day. That's a no, that was Stephen Jones. <laughs> yeah, that's a sore subject. Don't bring that up. We don't speak that name. Just, um, okay. Mitchell, if you don't if you don't do a lick test, they're gonna be upset. It's actually pronounced Salmo Owitz. Salmo Owitz. So do you don't you don't pronounce the N? There's no N in there, Gabriel. Is this blasphemy? How many utility knives are you making? I think only one. Oh, this is our friend Daniel Turnipseed. Say yeah. say hi. What was his name? His name was Mitch Rudabigacy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Daniel, we, we said you're... Uh, oh, don't don't feel bad, Steven. You, like, there's no way you would have known. I don't, I don't feel bad at all. But just like, no, we're definitely not doing a collab with them. <laughs> we might, though. Yeah, they might if they offer <laughs> enough money. They've been trying. No, uh, this is a, a knife faceplate. So if you've seen, if you look at my Instagram page, my Instagram story, you know that? Um, you can see it on there. Can I enable Super Chat? I don't think I, I don't think I have it enabled on my channel in general. I need to get on my computer. So uh, maybe do that later. People can pay you money. Yeah. I don't know, like, we, we might do that. If I get into live streaming, maybe, but not today. Um, I'm getting behind on some comments. Um, ETA on ring orders placed over eight weeks. If it's been eight weeks, then it is on our short list of That means you have about eight rings. weeks more. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, that means, oh, I just lost all the comments. Where did they go? Um, sorry, guys, I'm getting scatterbrained. Uh, Mr. Clean, if you message our customer support we can give you a better window if we have your order number but just know if it's over eight weeks it should be very soon because there's very few only the hardest to make rings or if there's some reason like superconductor recently we had a supply issue so we had to work really hard to try to get more of that in stock so uh long story short there's like it, it should be really quick from this point um, have you heard of the Hacksmith? Yes, we have. We actually uh, got in contact with one of the people that does brand deals for them recently, I think. So we might do uh, something with them in the near future. We'll see. Try to say my name. Diego Escobedo. A lot of people want you to say their name. <laughs> yeah. Daniel said Rube Semen. Rube Semen? Gross. Rube Semen? <laughs> Make another Pewds ring? I can't do that. PewDiePie said no more sub to PewDiePie memes. Hi, Anthony. Caleb Pierce. Ooh, Make a flash ring? I get that all the time, and I think I definitely am going to soon. Holy cow, I'm really delayed on these comments. Let me keep scrolling through these. Ava Spano. I'm sorry. Spam, spam, spam. I love you. When no one is around you, better say my name. DJ Stewart. <laughs> Make me a ring. Weirder and weirder. Can I get a rip in the chat? 
What kind of late in the U.S.? Isn't it kind of late in the U.S.? Yeah, it's a little late. We're mountain time, so it's Depends 8 p.m. Depends on which side of the U.S. you're in. Gravely. Side, it's still in the evening. Yes. Yes, we're on the cool part of the U.S. So that, I think, is pretty flat all the way across. Nice. It's like, there were some divots in there that we had to grind down, but I think we flattened them out. Yeah, that looks perfect. I am so happy. Well, the question is, is this too thin to yep. the point where we're going to break it? Yeah, we better be real careful. Where's Should I do the honors? That is really... Well, hold that? Yes. You want to... Okay. Patrick's yeah, gonna wiggle break it. Around and kind of make sure that I'll you... just pull it straight off. There you go. Now put it in your wooden rubber band sheath. Yeah, I made a special thick carrier for this just so it wouldn't break on accident. Let me get this is Dan's t shirt. <laughs> this is other t shirt. Dan, what grinding wheel are you using? What grinding wheel am I using? It is a Norton Abrasives 46 grit. I don't remember the hardness, so. There you go. Yeah. There Patrick, is Marvel or DC better? Oh, if we're talking... First of all, I'm not, like, the biggest comic book fan, so, like, I'm, I'm not an expert and I don't pretend to be. But Marvel's movies, 10 out of 10, better than DC. So, that's as far as that conversation goes for me. This is nice. If you guys, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you definitely should. But I've been spending like a week working on this and I've been documenting the process. There have been so many different steps and things that have gone into getting this this far. So it might not look like that big of a deal, but I'm actually really excited right now because this is pretty much finished. I'm going to put an etch on this, muriatic acid. Follow me on Instagram. I'll post the results on there. I'll post a sneak peek before the video goes live. But this is very close to being finished. Then I'm going to send it to Giacco, whatever, in Italy. It's just a nice little present for him. Uh, Kane says he makes knives, so you need to buy some of our knife blanks. Yeah, yeah, you need to buy some water jet knife, knife blanks. Someone says make a Thanos ring. Thanos ring? I made an infinity ring for Thanos. Someone says he wants you to flash the camera. I don't know, I don't know if that's YouTube appropriate. Dep do depends monetize. on which parts you flash. That's, well, this video isn't monetized. Show him a little bicep. A little bicep, eh? I've been working out, guys. Mm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's a joke. Yeet. Please don't take that seriously. Lick test the water jet. I want to buy a ring on your website, but I can't afford it. Um, have you seen our Kickstarter? We've got a really good deal on our Kickstarter. If you guys haven't seen my Kickstarter, someone says you're their favorite YouTuber and they inspire you. Thank you. What about us? When I'm sad or mad, I just watch your videos. You make me so happy. Thank you and keep up the good work. You. I really appreciate that. Thank you for watching. Do I make you happy? Yeah, what about Dan? Someone loves your muscles. Thank you. Someone says to flash your gums. I My think. Gums. No, gums with an M. Gums. Gums? <laughs> oh, that's real gummy. Yeah. Um, this was a video we were working on earlier. These are titanium knife links. Shout out to uh, Water Jet Knives. We ground this one. I'm gonna put a handle on one of these. I'm thinking I'll do malachite. This is malachite true stone. I went to their factory recently. I've got another YouTube video coming out showing that, spoiler alert. But we're gonna put some cool handles on this. Maybe malachite. We could do just like cherry wood or this white marble. That would be really cool. But another thing that's going to be cool is we're gonna electrically anodize this so we can turn it really bright, like purple, blue, or gold. So if you've seen a Tamascus ring that I've made in the past, that's kind of the same similar situation. Also, I don't want to steal that for like the fourth time today. Okay, so now what we got to do, we're working on another video. Where's that uh, petrified two by four? Oh, it's over by the grinder. Okay, we're just gathering stuff up. We're going to go on a bit of a field trip, maybe do like a Q and A while we're there. We need to head over to my brother's house because he has a diamond uh, pile saw. We're gonna do a, a thing for this. Uh, Ooh, got it. Oh, nice reach. Do I have everything? Yes. If not, you just come back tomorrow. If not, I'll be back tomorrow. Someone says make a Black Panther ring. That would be cool. I've, I've thought Someone has that. asked about pendants about nine times. Pendants? We've got 
pendants. We're doing superconductor pendants. We got meteorite pendants. We're slowly rolling those out. They're like a fair bit cheaper than most things on our website and they're really cool. So I think those are gonna be a big hit. So stay tuned for those. Get on our email newsletter if you're not and you'll definitely- Voltage ring pendants is the oh, details he cool. wants. Oh yeah, we're doing those. We are announcing more details on that probably tomorrow. Um, okay, so this was, we're, we've been working on three videos. What, three? So the titanium knife, the meteorite piece that we just did. Oh, and then this, I'm really bad at camera work. Yes. Mitchell's bad at camera. Oh, yeah. So, you hear this in the video. This is a piece of uh, petrified wood. It's a petrified wood 2x4. That's how they made houses in the Stone Age. And they're really limited because this is a pretty small piece. They didn't make it very big. So you can build very big houses. That's why it's called the Stone Age, because they lived in small stone two by four houses. So we're gonna go take this and we're gonna dress it up, make it nice and smooth, go on a field trip, do a little Q&A, Mitchell and I, just wrap your talk, you know? Uh, water jet knife blanks start at about $11 for whoever asked as it flew through in the chat. Nice, yeah, those are affordable. It's a really fun hobby, I think. Water jet knife blades. Make a ring for every Avenger. I, I, Make I, Skyrim I rings. That. There's just so much work. Oh, guys, I've got a collab with a Skyrim YouTuber in the works. I'm actually really excited for it. I can't tell any details really at the moment, but we've got a pretty cool video we're working on. I'll just, I'll just Someone says they want to see you running the water jet and Dan and I making rings. Hmm. We should do that, that one day. Somebody would get hurt. Probably us. Dan would get hurt. <laughs> I would lose my vision. Dan would get his blouse caught into the uh, lathe there. Yeah, that's blouse. <laughs> blouse. All right, are we ready to roll out? I got to grab my uh, backpack and stuff. Okay. I'll Dan follow Dan Patrick. Dan. Okay. Look at me. I'm a real YouTube vlogger. This is what this feels like. I got a cameraman. Make a hemp ring. A hemp ring? I kind of want to. It's kind of hard, like, like you want to, I kind of want to make a ring with marijuana in it, like cast in resin, but YouTube doesn't really like drug talk just in general, I don't know. A hemp ring would be cool. I could take hemp and laminate it with resin and it'd actually make a really strong ring. I don't look at my truck. <laughs> That's been live streamed to the whole world. Should have thought about that before you started pushing buttons. <laughs> oh, it's okay, I can change the password. Also, yeah. people never see me in real life. Somebody was asking, can you explain the Kickstarter? The Kickstarter? Yeah, I will. I'm more Let me do that in a sec. Agatha Christie. <laughs> I've been going through a rough patch mentally and emotionally. Just been getting into some reading. Bryson Fuller, go back and watch like my second or third video ever. I use leather in the ring. It's an idea that I've always loved. It's just hard to implement well. I want to do it again soon. That video is really bad, but yeah. Also, check this out. I just subscribed to a car wash. You pay like a monthly subscription. You can go to the car wash as many times as you want. I've literally been five times in the last seven days. That's it? It is so fun. That's it? You're not getting your money. Yeah, I gotta get my money's worth better. We went to, we got a car wash, then we went to lunch, and then we got a car wash. <laughs> it's a good time. Lunch must have been Make real up and real, yeah, real messy lunch. We ate on top of the truck. All right, uh, we're gonna head over to my brother's house. Like I said earlier, we're gonna say farewell to Dan. Thank you, Dan. Farewell to Craig. Yeah, we will not break that meteorite. All right, I'm going on a truck ride. Someone says that's a nice trek. Infinite and fire no. Infinite inferno? I'm gonna just pronounce everyone's names wrong. Infinite in fire no. Um someone's leaving for boot camp tomorrow. Oh wow. Thai gaming. That means that means they're in the military, right? Like, thank you for your service. Appreciate it. Oh, I'm cutting down off. Sometimes here. they call one of those fat camps boot camp. Boot camp, yeah. If if you're going to fat camp, good luck. If it's Military boot camp. And Make a Minecraft boot ring. Boot That'd be cool. I think it would just be a square. Can, you, can I tell you guys a secret? This like 
this doesn't leave this live chat. This is a deep, dark secret. I probably shouldn't be telling you because it's really embarrassing. I used to make Minecraft YouTube videos back in the day. I would go, and I, it wasn't like Your hardcore. Boat called Every Dog. Link to Great. the channel, please. No way. No way. <laughs> is there these videos still up? There's one of them that's still up. You, you'll never find it. Um, it was, what would I do? I'd make these maps and I'd go post about them in these Minecraft forums. This was when I was like, this was in Minecraft was in beta. So I think it was 2011. But Danny Kramer is going to find the video. Long he says, challenge accepted. Don't, don't find the video. Um, you probably wouldn't even recognize my voice. I was like prepubescent and everything. Hi, this so, is Patrick Adair. Hey guys. No, I didn't say my name. Never want to do that. Never want to be able to trace it back to me. No, but yeah, I, I had a lot of fun in Minecraft back in the day. Don't make fun of me. It used to be Minecraft wasn't cool, and then it really wasn't cool. And now all of a sudden everyone's starting to come back around to it. I mean, like, oh, Minecraft's so cool. I got, remember Minecraft. We got some funny guys in the channel in the chat saying you're still prepubescent. -pub I'm not prepubescent. Look at this stubble, okay? They want to see your pubes. Okay, okay. <laughs> too this far? Is, we, we might have to end the live stream. <laughs> too far? A little, little too far. No, we good. Um, my brother's house is literally like a two minute drive from the water jet place. He says it's the army, not the fat camp. It's the army? Okay, good. Hi, thank Someone you. start their stopwatch because literally two minutes is probably eight minutes. Ooh, yeah, it's, uh, it might be like three minutes. But I don't think it'll be much longer than that. Like, it's going to come down to how long we have to wait at certain traffic lights. How do you switch cameras on here? I don't know. Is it like Flip. Yeah. There we go. Look at us. Just two friends hanging out in a truck. Just truck guy stuff, you know. When the sun shines in my beard, it looks a little red. Nice. The, the little twinge of ginger beard. I've got a couple of red hairs on my face. Literally just like five or something. These comments are going too fast. Oh, there's a police officer. It's okay, Patrick's not live streaming. Yeah, it's okay, I'm not on the phone. He's not looking. Okay, we good. An officer of the law. That would be really, like, I wouldn't be happy, but, like, that'd be good content if I got pulled over live while I'm not doing anything illegal. Mm -hmm. All right. Trucks, no right turn. This one says make a ring by taking four rings and cutting them apart and then gluing them together. I, I don't know how good of an idea that is. Oh, you mean like a different, okay. Yeah, that could be cool. I thought you were just saying something stupid. Maybe no, they yeah, were. that could be cool. Making like four different sections. Where's Main Street? Do I have to keep going? Uh, this, yeah, that's, I don't know. We'll figure it Go out. one more? Okay. We'll figure it out. Bye, Dan. There goes Dan. He's right next to us the whole time. Are you gonna drop me off at home later? Yeah, I'm dropping Mitchell off. We carpool to work. Danny loves my beard. Get your own, Danny. Get your own beard, Danny's. Get your own Mitchell. Quit hitting on my man. You got any more good stories about embarrassing things you did? Um. Is there a good, like, growing up? Here's an embarrassing story. That one time when Mitchell put the camera uncomfortably close to my face while I'm trying to drive around. Ben 10 ring. I will put some thought into the Ben 10 ring. I literally have no idea what I'd do. Um, At least you knew what Ben 10 was. I do know who Ben 10 is, okay? I'm a real OG. I'm trying to think. I feel like I don't have any good embarrassing stories I can think of. Not ones that I want to tell you guys, especially free. Okay, this is Q&A. Any uh, cues that any, we can A? Any cues that I can A for you? Because Patrick's in the mood for some A, so if you've got some cues, yeah, he'd be happy to A them. Yeah, I'd be more than happy to A your cues. Oh, we we went too far. I think. Where did you get your A Lincoln shirt? Oh, this Walmart. I forgot about that. I was wearing this shirt today. I got this in Walmart like five years ago, probably. It's like my favorite. It says "Drop beats, not bombs" on it. Mm -hmm. Quote Abraham Lincoln. He's wearing like he's got like a boombox. Someone photoshopped it. I just thought it was actually a genuinely funny shirt. 
Someone said, how is there still sun where you are? It's been dark for four hours. Utah, we we have a, a mod. We install a mod where we get two extra hours of sunlight. We are on the west side of the time zone, and so we have light for longer. Yes, that's how... Did you get a beard works. from Walmart? Yes, in the beard section. Hey, I got a question. How flat old are you guys? Earth, if the earth was flat, wouldn't the sun... Wouldn't it? Hmm. I'm, I'm not sure how flat earthers explain how it gets dark and light, so I'm not sure if this is good. Someone just turns a lamp on, okay? But, like, couldn't you, like, live stream all around the world and prove that, like, it's night here, it's sunset here, it's daytime here? Like, wouldn't that solve that? I don't know. Can you make a gem quality dinosaur bone ring? Um, yes. I, w I want to, so that. My, on my personal uh, Instagram page, I did a giveaway. I still haven't even announced that yet. I've been in contact with the winner, but we're doing some, We're trying to do something special for that. I want to make a, something that'll be more durable. The the ring I made, and so I'm gonna have to uh, figure something out design wise. So that's why that video has been delayed for so long, and just the giveaway in general just because I haven't been able to quite figure out the design that I want to do. But I will do something kind of cool here in the future, so yeah. What's your favorite material to work with? Favorite material? I think carbon fiber is really fun. You can do a lot of stuff with it. It's really unique. It's not super expensive. There's a lot of good reasons to like carbon fiber. Um, titanium, anything metal. Metal is like, it takes longer to machine stuff in certain scenarios. You have to have better machinery, but it's it's like nice. It works well. It's like funner to play around with. I'd say it's a lot of fun to do resin rings where you cast something in resin just because it's so transformative. You start with something that the thing you're left with at the end is nothing like how it started out with. So it's just kind of a mystery as you're going along. You get to see the ring kind of unveil itself. Someone says I should be in more of your videos. You should. We should do a like a weekly podcast live stream. Check out this view, guys. Flip that camera around. Sunset. Beautiful. Wow. How do you know you get real meteorite? You gotta lick it first. You gotta lick it. Yeah, you just have Mitchell approve it. No, but for real though, the pattern on there is natural and there's no way to fake it. So if it has a pattern, then it's real. So that's how you do it. Someone says, where are you? Uh, not telling, it's a secret. Don't look at the, don't, don't show the street signs, Mitchell. Top secret, Area 51 location. Sunset Ridge Drive, North Salt Lake. How rude. Okay. The We're going to take a couple extra turns here, try to shake people off our trail. Here's the house we're going to. Oh, come on. There's Patrick's brother there. And a dead end street into the mountain. dead end street. All right, let's grab our petrified wood. Yep. Zach Ratcliffe's okay. wife lives in West Jordan. Sweet. Give us the address and we'll go visit her. No, no. That's how you get in legal trouble, Mitchell. All right. Can you make someone a house out of Legos? Can you make a pizza ring? Now that's cool. Mm, a pizza ring, that could be cool. We could dry it out, cast it in resin. Are you talking actual pizza or just looks like pizza? Oh, hey, you can make one that looks like pizza. That'd be cool. Um, we've got our petrified wood. If you're just joining us, we've got a piece of petrified wood we cut with the water jet earlier. We're gonna go use a diamond tile saw to clean up the edges. You can see how rough that is. We're gonna try to clean that up. All right, let's get going. Hey guys. I'm gonna drop this phone probably. That's okay. Won't be the first thing you ruined. Patrick's got extras. Yeah, I've got plenty extra iPhones just in my iPhone account. I'm looking straight into the sun so I can't see the screen. Hey. We're live streaming. Sick. I saw myself. I was watching it. Oh, cool. So. Oh. <laughs> it's my brother, Elliot. He runs the Patrick Adair Supplies 
Hey everybody. Company website. Well, why well, isn't it called Elliot of Dare Supplies? It should be. It should be. We didn't want to confuse people. It's in the works. Name change in the works. <laughs> yeah. All right. Here's the tile saw. You can see Elliot's been hard at work doing some. I'm not going to show him that. Landscaping. Yeah, that's not sure. Yeah. The garage isn't very clean. No, it's all good. Let's see. Also, you're sick right over there. Blue Jeep. Oh, yeah, it's a nice Jeep. It's my son's. Check that out. Okay, so we're at the tile saw. Hi, brother. Is it possible to make a cardboard ring? I kind of want to. That'd be cool. So here, this is uh, ingrained with diamonds, this uh, outer kind of like bronze looking substance. So um, I don't even, I haven't even used this before. But why don't we have Elliot kind of walk us, show us through the ropes. And then we're going to kind of square this up, make it uh, just a little cleaner, a little nicer looking. Mm -hmm. So we turn on the pump, the water keeps it cool, keeps the blade from overheating. And then how do you turn it on? You put this up, that turns on the, <laughs> the switch. So it's got a like laser going. No, you just go for it. So let's do a trial. Mm, is there a little fence? Yeah, if you want to set this on here to get a right angle on it. Okay. Okay. It's not that. like square right now though, so maybe later. Okay. Yeah. You can tighten that up, yeah. Okay. So, Mitchell, can you hold the camera? And I'll try to... Patrick does the dangerous things. I do the dangerous things. Yeah, you might want to use... Mitchell's with two wells. Okay, this to or something? Okay, yeah. Okay, this will be a good first... It's, they uh, said, don't cut your finger off live on YouTube. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be sure not to. Commenting, and I can't hear you. Hi, Ryan. Do we need to wide reach the bottom? I think is how it's set right now, but mm, don't know. Can we adjust yeah, it? We gotta go further down. How can we do that? Flip it over. If that's easier. Can you adjust well, some down? Let's see. We could just like prop this up on top of something. I'll figure it out. Make a hot glue ring a DIY hot video. We thought about that. Just like an April Fool's video or something. Oh, that that's working. Yep, you nailed it. We've always wondered what's a good idea for an April Fool's ring. If you've got any suggestions, let us know. 
Uh, maybe, maybe like, like rattle, rattlesnake skin? Maybe like rattlesnake skin ring, maybe. Mitchell gave me rattlesnake to make a ring out of forever ago. I got grossed out without making a video. And he holds that over my head to this day. Everyone needs to ask him about rattlesnake rings. <laughs> Behind the phone. Nice. All right, we're gonna need a tape measure. A tape measure. Oh, yeah, we need three and a half inches. Okay. No, we, we just, we're just gonna do it by clearance. Look at that finish. Let's go out in the light. Now I gotta step over a cord? Oh, careful. Oh. Oh. You wanna be on camera? She says no. Okay, that's my mom. She was handling you with emails a couple years ago. Handling you? Yeah, don't you remember when your mom was emailing me? When? It's a long time ago. Oh, weird. Okay. Um, check out this surface finish here. That's a lot better than- Oh, I was showing your face. Oh, we are here. Yeah, I come out here to show off the petrified wood. Mitchell's like, hey. So this is how the water jet leaves it. Pretty rough. This is how that hole saw left it. Nice and smooth. So what we're trying to do it's is we're trying to make- a weird looking hole saw. Not, not whole, I always say hole saw because I use diamond plated hole saws. Tile saw. Leaves it with a nice finish. So we're trying to make a petrified wood two by four showed how they make stone age houses. So now we need to trim up all the other spaces to have ourselves a nice looking block. Do you want me to read the text message from Lewis? What is, no, <laughs> let's see, what, is, what does Lewis say? That's too late. You can check from my watch. Text at. Ooh, make an onion ring. There's some people over there on the porch if you want to see them. Uh, we got the petrified wood from a guy named Mitch. Mitch. Uh, what's his last name? Radish Colonel. Mitch Radish Colonel. He's got kind of an interesting name, but it's Mitch Radish. It's, it's unforgettable. Unforgettable. Um, what was I just gonna say? I don't know. But we've got this side flat. Uh, we need to trim the other side, but we want to be able to do a top pass. Okay. So if we cut off just a hair, that should be enough. So we're gonna cut this other section. We gotta make it a true two by four, which- is Hold it up to a two by four and then you can get an idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is a real two by four. So it starts as two inches by four inches, then they gotta trim off part of it so that it will, uh, not so for any reason, they just trim it down so it is a little nice looking. So it's not actually two inches by four inches as you would like to. Can I give out your cell phone number on the live stream? Please. Okay. Please, please don't, actually. <laughs> it's actually encouraged. Okay, now I'm gonna... Someone says you should make a ring out of aerogel. Oh, that's a good idea. I want to get my hands on some of that. I don't know if it would work. Like, I have no idea what it's like. I, I think it would crumble. It would, it would crumble, for sure, but like... Maybe I could cast aerogel in resin? Hey, that's not a bad idea. It would literally ruin the point of aerogel. Aerogel is a gel that they get all of the liquid out of. And so it's literally just like this skeleton that's left over. And so what we'd be doing is we'd be going back and putting liquid that would turn solid back into it. So you'd be defeating the whole point. But it would technically be an aerogel ring, so like, I'd do it. Don't mess this up. Don't mess this up. If this is a perfect two by four. Like you only have one shot to make a two by four out of a piece of petrified wood. Yeah, this is it. Like if it's a two by three, that's stupid. That's just stupid. Oh. Um, I don't know, how far is this? Where's this blade sticking? Okay, this should be good. Oh, hey guys, I wanted to tell you, if you haven't seen my Kickstarter, well, I've already said on YouTube. Okay, I thought I had announced it on YouTube, but I did that video, I keep forgetting I did that. Anyways, either way, if you haven't seen our Kickstarter, we just crossed 100K today. 
So check that out if you have it. That's a lot of case. That is a lot of case. You passed a hundred thousand dollars. I'm actually really, really excited about. Make a ring out of dinosaur poop. Dinosaur poop? That's not a bad idea. I want to do a collab with Bobby Duke. Bobby Duke Arts. He's done dinosaur poop stuff in the past. You guys should. Uh, um, rooster, oh, rooster ring. Rooster ring? No. Okay, I'm gonna turn this saw on so that I can't get an excuse to not apply to these. <laughs> Make a glass ring. Great. With some links to some sexy girls. Reactions to watching it. I want to ask if this is the slow mo channel. It's in slow mo, yeah. Do an Alex Steele collaboration. Comment on his video. Someone says he wants me to help you push it. You know that, Brian. That's what our goal is for.
little further. You gotta get that corner. Clear these pieces out. There you go. Alright. And that's a cool piece. Uh, it is not, it is wood, it's called petrified wood. Petrified wood. It's dinosaur wood it's turned into stone. Dinosaur wood. Mm hmm. I was trying to explain it in terms they'd understand. Ah. Uh, dinosaur wood. You're insulting my viewers, Mitchell. Okay, that's The person it. who gave you this wants a shout out. Daniel, shout out to Daniel. <laughs> But now you gotta hold it against the two by four and see if you took enough off. Let's see, let's see. It's a petrified wood two by four. Ooh, that is perfect. Look at that. Dead on. Dead on. This is an accurate. Okay, now we got two more cuts. Yeah, I don't know. Do we wanna do this? Mm mm. Nope. I feel like we should end the live stream. Are there still people watching? Uh, we got 226 people watching. Dang. I mean, I'm okay to keep going. Let's do, uh, do we want to trim up this face? My wife's been texting me for like the last two hours of when I'm going to come home. <laughs> it's like, sorry, I'm doing something really important. YouTube. Hmm. Let's see. Let's, let's cut this See, we, face we're like off. mixing channels here. Some people want me to lick stuff, and then when I licked the camera, and a lot of people were grossed That's out. Weird. <laughs> yeah, that was super weird. Mitchell, can you lick the petrified wood? Um... Can, you, can uh, they see that? No. Perfect. Yep, that's three and a half inches wide. Yep, yep, got the measurement. All right, let's do one final cut and then we'll probably sign off. If you guys want to see the real, I'll post a picture to my Instagram. How about that? I'll let's just have this Instagram. going all night. Let's just keep going. If you guys, no, we're gonna, we're gonna stop soon. Um, but go to my Instagram and you can see the finished result. Turnip Seed says he store. likes the polish. Yeah, it looks really good actually. Alright, so... Uh, Are you okay that we just call you Turnip Seed? I, turnip Seed, it's a lot easier to remember, like, your name, I don't know. Um, Mitchell, I don't remember if we wanted to cut this off or leave it. You know what Dan wanted us to do? Uh, so, yeah, just cut these sides, leave the top. Leave this? Yeah. How it is? Oh, yeah, okay. it looks more woody that way, I think. Uh, okay. Well, and is this side already flat, do you think? Yeah, that was a pre-flattened side. Okay, well this is gonna take like an hour. And I don't think people want to just listen to song noises for like 10 minutes straight. So should we call that good for the live stream? He says he's been called Turnip Seed his whole life. You've been called Turnip Seed your whole life? Well, Turnip Seed it is, still. All right, we're gonna call that good for the live stream, I think. Check out my Instagram if you want to see the finished process. Uh, thank you to Mitchell from the Waterjet channel for joining me. Check out the channel if you haven't. If you're wondering if there's an earth Quake, it's just because I that's yes, Parkinson's. It's early onset. Early onset Parkinson's. Ooh, ASMR, ASMR saw sounds. ASMR saw sounds. That you should have been are, the title. You guys are welcome to, to uh, rewind the live stream. Uh, just listen to the saw. Sounds. Jacob Holland, you may ask a question. Jacob, Nobody else. Give us your question. Make a ring out of garnet. Garnet? That'd be cool. Subscription box? Oh, oh, my brother. This is Elliot. Hey, he runs the supplies company. 
I'm going to give supplies. him the floor. Yeah. Elliot Adair Everybody Supplies. Subscribe to the Patrick Adair Supply subscription box. Let me pull it up for you real quick. Okay, this good. month, actually, we're doing a Garnet ring. Garnet. Garnet. Not what Kevin Garnet. Kevin Garnet. One of my idols. So did you know the water jet uses Garnet to cut things? I did it. It's just like <laughs> Garnet sand. Uh, that's cool. Click this link here. In my bio, just kidding. No. Um, just go to patrickadairsupplies.com and for 50 bucks a month, we send you everything you need to do a glowstone ring. You also get the ring mandrel and a bottle of glue this month for free as well. Yeah. So, what? So we, got, so we got some deals going on. It's out of control this month. Oh, uh, what? Wild. Yeah. Um, deals on deals on deals. Is that everything you got for people? If you want to make yeah. rings, go to that site. If you want to make knives, Go to Waterjet Knives. Is it just waterjetknives.com? Yep. Yeah. If you want to watch YouTube videos of cutting stuff. It's a noise knife. It's a noise knife. <laughs> um, go to uh, just their YouTube page, obviously. A lot of my subscribers are subscribed to them, so you guys probably already know. And check out my Kickstarter if you haven't. We spent like four months working on that, and so if you haven't seen it, you need to at least go take a look. I, I'd appreciate it. You're only at 55 minutes for the live stream. we got to go to a solid Can hour. Can go to an hour? How yep. about this? I... I'll cut it if you guys want to see it. Go big or go home. Okay, okay, we'll cut one more face. Then we should have four faces or three faces. You can only, you can only see three faces at a time, so. You got to cut all four. It'll make it look good. Yeah, at that point. Um, but here's a fun story. When we did the obsidian um, cube, I only ever finished three faces for that reason. Is that real? Yeah, you can't nice. see them all. The other faces look terrible. This is the only place you guys get this knowledge. So YouTube live make a bamboo ring. Done that. I don't know if I made a video out of it. Let the saw run for the next five minutes. Start okay, the saw. Turn off the saw. You can listen ASMR to the saw. Ooh. No. Okay. Yeah. Make a ring out of candy. A candy ring? That's not a bad idea. How could we do that? Like from a ring pop, but then turn the pop part into the ring. I was thinking about like a jawbreaker though. Mm, yeah, that with the layers? Yeah, that would actually look cool. I, I like that. I've got a piece at the shop if you want it. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. We'll, we'll consider it. Okay, I think I've got this lined up how we want it. I'll go ahead and... Uh... I mean, that's not a great so or great thing because... Uh... The other side is... Yeah, the other side's not really well, flat, it's, but... It's just a little, like... Just make sure I don't push it too far. I like that. Okay. Lamont right. Mitchell has my name. You guys, if you guys nice. like ASMR, you're in for a treat. This is a ASMR, ASMR sound, soft, ASMR saw sounds with your host, Patrick and Mitchell. The sweet sounds of the saw.
can leave anytime you want, guys. What? I'm talking to the viewers. Okay. They can leave anytime they want. That's what she said. It was like slowly skating out. Yeah. And that broke through. Yeah, I think it's. Hmm. I'm not sure why. It looks like the saws just slowly deflected. Well, once that piece broke off, then it just kind of wanted to go that way. Yeah. Passive least resistance. Yeah. So what we need to do, I think our issue was we needed to take off a bigger bite from the beginning. That way. It like stays lodged within the material. That pump sounds funny. So, oh yeah, how do we turn that off? I can unplug it. Yeah, I understand. There we go. So, um, it was just deflecting off, so what we need to do is we need to sink the saw blade into it deeper, that way it can't slowly get off track. Um, yeah, but, let's let's call that it, like it's wearing the saw blade down pretty quick. This is definitely like way harder than of a material than these are designed to cut consistently. So we're gonna have to rethink what we're doing. We it, it should be fine. Just like be careful, take it slow, do what we are doing. Just take a bigger chunk, um, and we should be able to get there. But yeah, let's call that good for the live stream. I know, I know how much you guys like listening to ASMR saw, saw sounds. Um, the smooth sounds of the saw. Smooth sounds of the saw. With your host, Patrick and Mitchell. Um, check out my Instagram. I'll post a story real quick when I'm done with this. Just showing, I guess, the finished process. So you can see all the flat sides. It looks pretty 
looks like an actual two by four. So yeah. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I don't know how to end this. Should I have Mitchell do stuff?